we just defined velocity and acceleration in terms of position and time. Velocity is the rate of change of position, and acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Now we'll look at mathematically representing motion. We'll find equations for position, velocity, and acceleration as a function of time. We'll do this for situations in which the math is reasonably straightforward. The first case is constant velocity motion. It turns out that constant velocity motion happens a lot in the real world, or at least close enough that it's a decent approximation. If we know what the constant velocity is, it's pretty straightforward to find the position at any time. In general, velocity is the slope of a position time graph. And conversely, with distance traveled is the area under a velocity time graph. If the velocity is constant, finding the distance traveled is just a matter of finding the area of a rectangle. Here's a graphical representation of a velocity time plot for constant velocity. It says that if something travels at a meters per second for b seconds, it will travel a times b meters. Note that the units are indeed distance units, as they need to be. We can generalize this idea to find the equation for position at any time. When velocity is constant over some time interval, the average velocity over the interval is the same as the instantaneous velocity at any time within the interval. v equals delta x over delta t is valid at all times within the interval. We can solve this for delta x, the distance traveled. Then if we want to know the specific position, we need to add one more piece of information, which is the initial position. The position at the end of the interval, x sub f, or x final, is the position at the beginning of the interval, x sub i, or x initial, plus the distance traveled, delta x. Delta x is v delta t, so we can substitute that in, and that's the constant velocity equation for position. That x final is x initial plus delta x or plus v delta t. This formula also applies to the position at the end of an interval when you're given the duration and the average velocity.